Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll see the common mistakes or the financial mistakes which we do or which could take a big hit on our uh, financial planning. The first mistake what we do is like we normally ignore our budgeting. So budgeting is very important on your financial planning. It's easy to overspend when you don't have a budget. So for example, you have a budget of 3000 for a month and you happen to like uh, run up your uh, expenses without a budget, it automatically gets exceeded over the 3000 mark. So always try to prioritize on your budgeting, create a monthly budget and try to track your expenses and prioritize your spending. Do not spend all your money at once. Try to create up different buckets or like different covers and try to put up your investment onto different things and try to invest or try to spend according to that. So budgeting is the main thing. Always budget your plannings or budget your expenses. The next mistake which we normally try to do is like not saving for emergencies. Emergency funds are very uh, essential in your financial planning. So the life is always unpredictable and we always try to end up into mishaps anytime at any point of our life. So always start building up your emergency fund. You can't break up your FD or you can't break up your stock market investments or you can't break up any of your savings in times of emergencies. So to cover up your unexpected expenses like your medical bills or car repairs or anything that happens to your home or for the refurbishment kind of things, always try to make sure that an emergency fund is always kept ready. Say for example, you're working and if you happen to lose your job, you need to have at least three months of your uh, uh, monthly expenses ready with you or at least uh, to be on a safer side, six months. The next mistake which we tend to do is like avoiding investments. So we have this mentality of investing in gold or investing in different types of Ponzi schemes and stuff where the investments are going to be very lucrative. But we always forget or we like stop investing in the stock market. So when you stop investing in your uh, stock market kind of things, then you have to like always run behind the money. Get this mindset in your goal. Let money work for you and you not for the money. So that should be the case. When you start up your career, you can start working for money. Once you start building up your coppers, let that do the work for you in the background. So try investment options. There are various investment strategies. You can go for stocks, bonds, real estate investment or gold ETFs or gold kind of investments. If you're going for a gold investment, always go for SGBs and not any other means of investment. Then the biggest mistake which you all try to do is impulse purchase. So impulse purchases make a very big toll on our uh, investment or in our financial life because you go to the market XYZ and when you try to buy a thing and when you try to make the billing grounds, there are a lot of things lying on the billing counter. You accidentally or like unwantedly buy things that you are not in need. You normally try to buy up an, uh, a chewing gum or you try to buy up something which is not essential for you. And just for the sake of something lying in the billing counter or something that is drawing your attention, you try to spend money onto that. And when you try to see how much money is been spent on that over a course of time, you will find out there's a lot of money that's been spent on that and that is like taking a big toll on your investment. The next mistake which we try to do is like carrying credit cards and that is being used as a debt card. So like how you use, like we try to use credit cards like debit cards, we try to use the other person's money and we try to use the entire finances of it, the entire limits of it. And we are trying to balance this, uh, pay the balances of it, you normally try to pay only the uh, minimum payment of it. So when you do that, that automatically adds up a 18% component interest to that with a 23% surcharge to that and everything gets component automatically. So what I would advise you is like never use credit card unless and until it is essential. And if at all you're using it, make sure that you make the payment ready exactly on the day. In fact, try to pay three or four days in advance so that it gets added up to the accounts and reflects on the statement. If you like these kind of videos, do share it with your friends and do not forget to comment on this as well and subscribe to this channel for more financial news. Thank you.